I have been noticing you and observing you for the last maybe one, one and a half years I would say. I also noticed a tremendous change in terms of mindset, in terms of the way you approach things. What are the things that you did including using graphology plus additional stuff yeah. to change your mindset? So if I can share my story. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, basically I am from Nagpur region. Uh, I for first few years of mine we, we were in uh, Bhandara district. So my mother and father both we are construction workers. My father used to be a uh, what's assistant for that road roller. And one day the road roller guy, uh, you know, driver was not there. So people asked, can you drive it? So he said, yes, I can. So that is how his journey started. And he got the job of first that and then tractor. Then he got into jeeps and then trucks. This is how he got up into it. Wow. And yeah. So one of the engineer who was involved with the construction, he saw the way my dad was passionate about his work and dedicated about the work. So he gave him the job as a full-time employee of uh, irrigation department. And there onwards our life started changing because the money flow was consistent afterward. It was not much, but it was uh, it, good enough to survive, you know? at least we had uh, something to fill in, in our stomach. So that is the journey, that is how we started. So coming from that background, then we went to Garchululi where the, the, the entire area is in Axelites area. So then again, there was, uh, there was no, not much of education was there, not, no English and a uh, lot of challenges were already there in my family because nobody is educated enough. Even my, you know, elder brother, he is 10th uh, fell for at least 3-4 times before he got copied and passed by somehow by doing the cheatings and all. So that kind of educational background I had and I wanted to change because see my journey started from I, I guess from 5th or 6th standard onwards because I used to read a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not allowed to play outdoors because my brother was not doing well in the education so my father wanted me to be good in my own education so there were strict rules about me not going to the... So your brother helped you that way? <laughs> in fact... Uh, when I asked my father that how come you had all the money to teach me in spite of you having such a small salary. Mm -hmm. So what he told me that he started saving the money for the education for my brother. Mm -hmm. And that all money I used afterwards. <laughs> because he never went for higher studies. So that was an interesting story he told me. Mm -hmm. So he always had money for my education. Whatever the amount is, he was ready with the fantastic. So and um, he only encouraged me to go for this uh, uh, reading libraries and uh, having a library at my house where people will, uh, people will come drop their books and I will read and those kind of things he did a lot. So I used to read a lot in my early uh, school days. I never used to go out and play. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, one of the area which I still regret. If I, I would have played a lot, I would have been much smarter. Okay. <laughs> because sports makes you much, much smarter. Street, street, smart is, street smartness is something which you get with the sports. So that was one of the reasons wherein I was reading a lot and in, in those readings I came to know about something called as Vektimatva uh, Vikas or what you say is uh, the personal development. So I used to read blogs, I used to read uh, newspaper articles and books and there onwards I started developing myself without knowing that because I wanted to be a, a hero which of the book which I was reading. So I then start, started my own gym in the sense I went to gym and I started doing exercises to build a kind of personality a hero had. So even if you look towards me now, with the kind of physique I have got, it's like a hero only because I have been influenced so much by the books, hero, fictitious character of hero. So uh, that is how I was motivated to do, uh, motivated to have good personality. And then uh, when I came to Mumbai, I came to know about that I am no good in comparison with other people you know, because other people were far, far ahead to me. So again, I had to go in hibernation, work on myself. I studied a lot about how I can be a better speaker with English. So I started reading, uh, listening and watching English. And there, after three years, I came out of hibernation, started talking to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Before that, it was difficult for me to have a single conversation as well in my college days. So that was it. And then, then uh, in 2006, See, during all this era, I was always alone, aloof, because that is how that is how my father trained me. That is how my background was, always alone reading books, 
always yeah. alone, aloof, doing something. And there was no freedom of expression. Even my own brother has a lot of grudge towards me because everything which was supposed to be good was in my way and not in his way. You know, I was being given permission to buy anything, do anything, watch anything, and he was not because I was good with the studies. And that is how my father used to reward me. And he always had that grudge that Sudhir is getting everything and I'm getting not. So no siblings, no friends. Uh, again in college days, I was again alone. So somewhere, even though I was intelligent in my own way, uh, because I used to solve uh, unique riddles, unique problems which nobody was able to do in my school and college days both. Uh, I was alone. I was alone. So somewhere I felt that yeah, Sudhir, this is not working. You know, uh, you are not able to make friends. You are not able to go and speak in public. You get the easy public responsibility, but you are not able to perform that uh, responsibility in a good way. So there is something missing because of which you are not able to form relationship. So it was troubling for me. And that is one area where when I went to learn graphology in 2006, it started. I came to know about my shortcomings that shortcomings that these are the areas wherein I am not being able to do good or this is the area where we, if this is lacking, you will not be able to do with the relationship or performance or any other area for that matter. So with this revelation, which I had with the graphology, I fell in love with graphology. I learned more about graphology and I started changing myself from 2006. So I want to interrupt at this place. If you are watching, even if you are from Gachiroli or anywhere else, you got a choice. You can come up easily. Maybe you have to make some efforts. You can read. Look at his life. So irrespective of wherever he was, he made use of all the books that are available. He made use of the limited resources which are available coming his way. All he had to show was interest in furthering, progressing. Continue. Great. Thank you. So uh, in 2006, then I came to know about other stuff which also help you to change. Uh, like uh, affirmations. Meditation is something uh, which I used to do from the childhood. The reason being uh, the comics here you might be knowing uh, Nagaraj and Dhruv and all those things. Mm -hmm. So they used to, whenever they used to have a problem, they used to sit, meditate and they, they probably used to solve. Sure. So I even thought that similar thing can happen to me. So uh, even I used to, whenever I used to have a problem, I used to sit, just close my eyes, concentrate on the third eye and uh, then meditation was there, visualization, affirmation, and uh, imagination is something uh, which uh, is similar to the visualization but in a futuristic way so there in 2006 i got one book the name book name was uh, the science of getting rich and that book influenced me a lot what is the crux of that book is whatever you are right now it can change if you are willing to imagine and live the change it's very profound statement. If you are willing to imagine and live the change, the change is inevitable. Mm. So with that, uh, I, I I was doing a job of software engineer in HSBC GLT, Kalyan Nagar. Wow. So, <laughs> you also have a software background. Yeah. So I used to stand. Uh, our building was near IBM Dutch. So I used to stand uh, and I used to look out from the window. And I used to feel like, can I be so big one day that this whatever I see in front of my eyes, in front of my eyes, should be owned by me? That was a, with that was a kind of vision. I became uncomfortable with the, with the kind of job I was doing. I said, this is not it. If I want to make it so big, I will have to go in the market, learn something which other people are not willing to or able to, and become. Uh, emperor of my own empire, wherein whatever there is in front of my eyes will be mine. So with that vision, I left the job.